Hey everybody, Jeff Gersman here with a little tip for you uh, if you're going to be playing AEW Fight Forever. This was something that I... Uh, it's buried deep in one of the menus, not in a place where you'd necessarily expect, expect to see it. Um, and as a result, I went in for a lot of hours thinking like, man, this guy, I can't believe it doesn't have it. I'm talking about Orange Cassidy. What Orange Cassidy likes to do in the ring, if you're not familiar, sometimes he'll take his hands, slide them down into his pockets. And once his hands are in his pockets, he runs around and kicks and, and has silly little kicks and and all of this other stuff. Now, when I first started playing the game, you know, looking at the roster, I was like, well, what's the thing that like, I'd be curious to see if it's in here and, you know, like what, what's a unique thing that a character would have? And, and, and looking at the roster, that is that is the thing. So Orange Cassidy, I kind of was immediately drawn uh, to him to see, you know, what the, what the heck uh, what they were gonna do to kind of like properly represent Orange Cassidy in game um, and I couldn't find it the following contest is set for one fall and it was very and frustrating I was like I can't believe match. again like I just I can't believe that they wouldn't Making his way put to the this ring. in the game like it's it's his whole character consists of this concept of him being this like you know lackadaisical dude with his half thumbs up and and everything else you know and 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 to not have it in the game seemed bizarre and crazy i couldn't believe it um and i, I went on playing for you know a number of hours after that and then in the career mode found a thing um well we're gonna try to get in a position where we can do this because it does take a little time to put your hands in your pockets just like that. And now that we've done it, uh, he can do a little headbutt. He does this stuff. The AI will sometimes sell it, sometimes not. I, I definitely have been interrupted from it before. Let's try and knock him down again and, and, and do it here. Oh, dragon screw here. And this is just, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, so we'll wait for him to get up. And now if I hit the grapple button, he'll actually just do these. It's, it seems super powerful. Um, he's just like jumping. Hurricane Ronas. Um, but just like auto tar, just like immediately. <laughs> like this almost seems, this almost seems broken in a different way. Um, and you can even, this is very, you can, you can pin in this position, which is ridiculous. Um, And so, you know, yeah, doing that move will take the hands out of the pockets. You got to do it again. So how do you do it? It's easy. Uh, I'll go into the story mode and, and show you how, how they refer to it and, and how I learned about it. Um, because it's something you can apply to your own custom characters if you so desire. I think it would be, you know, that's gimmick infringement, an infringement brother. I don't know if you want to be doing that, but uh, we'll go into our career mode in progress here and uh, look at some of the skills and stats that you can buy um, in the My Wrestler section. So over here, there's like three different... Uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. That's the wrong menu. That's where you can customize the, the dude. Uh, we'll go to wrestler stats here. And some of this is very standard, just like, hey, do you want more slots for more finishers? Or do you want to do more damage with your arms or dives or springboards? And you get into the passive skills that are like, oh, you're going to get a momentum boost if you get the first attack or whatever. But action skills is the one that's got stuff like, hey, springboard attacks, or if you want to do topes, or, or uh, you know, if you want to get on the turnbuckles more quickly, you can assign those skills to your, to your wrestler. And there's one in here marked sloth style. And um, I was like, what the heck is a sloth style? And you see the picture of him with the hands in the box, like, oh, wait a minute. And so there it is. If you click in the right stick, Orange Cassidy will take his hands, put them in his pocket, and then you can do that stuff. And uh, that one thing uh, is not, again, not well explained <laughs> anywhere else in the game. Um, so it wasn't until I saw this that I was like, wait a minute, he can do it backed all the way out of this mode immediately went to go choose orange cassidy and saw the okay good it's in there 
how you know because like how they wouldn't how would they have ever shipped a game without this in there i mean the, hey listen there's a lot of stuff in this game that you look at and go like i don't get how this shipped with this in this state and this is missing this and this should be more like this and so when all that stuff added up not including orange cassidy's kind of signature stuff i i started to believe i was like yeah i, I guess i could see they just wanted to get the game out the door and that's a unique thing that only one character would have. So I guess I could see why they would cut it or not do it. It's really weak that they would do that, but like oh, there's some pretty weak aspects in the game, but they did do this one. So, uh, so at least there's that. And we, we could, we could take it and we could assign it to, uh, our, uh, extremely official John Cena here who has something going on with his forehead. I don't know. I, does he have move? Does he have a mouth on his forehead? What is going on with this menu? I, you're seeing this on the capture, right? What? I, it looks like he's got a moving set of lips on his forehead. This seems uh, eldritch in nature. This seems uh, truly her her horrific. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't like this one bit. For a second, I thought the lips were moving to my mouth as I was talking, and I was like, wait a minute, none of this is wired up in a way that would make that even possible. What the heck's going on here? Um, so, okay, that's just a, I don't, uh, it's really freaking me out. Let's go, let's go do a, um, let's see. He needs a, he needs to go out and get some motivation back. Let's see if, he'll see if his, when we go sightseeing, if he still has weird, uh, unibrow mouth uh-huh mm-hmm being able That's to see the sights is one of the perks of being a pro wrestler thanks JR and thank you for watching this uh look at how to make orange cassidy do the thing that are that thing that orange cassidy's known for I, like i said you know i went crazy for hours going like i i like just thinking about it going, i cannot believe that this is this this isn't in here how would it not be you know uh and and none of the again that you know none of the in-game options really give you any kind of like control guidelines or whatever i wonder if another way let's just very quickly if you're if you're curious like i am uh we'll go into custom we'll modify an existing wrestler and we'll modify orange cassidy and see if there's something there that says it because uh, i almost wonder if you could um, okay we'll go with original move set and see if there's a yeah no it doesn't so it seems like if you if you, if you get some of those other things like the, this tope thing will open up if you if you choose that um, you'll you'll get those um, those move categories on your character but yeah there's nothing and and you know I, I, it makes sense that you can't necessarily customize the moves you do while you're in the sloth style but um, but I'm, i was just curious to see if there was anything like that but i guess not yeah instead it's thigh kick four followed by thigh kick three and then here's super kick six i appreciate that the AEW game has a wide variety of super kicks to choose. They need it. They need a variety of super kicks. Anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, if you were wondering how to make Orange Cassidy do the thing, uh, not well explained uh, anywhere that I've seen in the game, other than buried in that one menu when you're making your own custom wrestler. Uh, and and if you infer from that, that like, oh, that must be the thing and, and so on and so forth, then, uh, then yeah. Good that it's in there. Would have been extra bad if it's not. Um, that's a larger conversation. I'll have uh, you know uh, more to say. Uh, we're, I'll, I'll be doing a separate AEW stream, 
and uh, and going over the game in a little bit more detail than this. Um, but just had a feeling that this is going to be one of those things that a lot of people go, wait a minute, what? Um, so here you go. Click in the right stick. Make it happen for yourself. And uh, thanks for watching.